To protect an inline connector splice, we use premium electrical tapes to provide electrical insulation, environmental seal, and mechanical protection. If you need rapid clean re-entry to the connection, wrap it with two half-lapped layers of varnished cambric tape. In the example we are about to show you, we're assuming that re-entry is not important, so this step is not shown. Start by grasping the edge of the Scotch brand linerless rubber tape 130C at the top of the crimped connector. Pull it until it begins to stretch. It should be stretched to one-third its original width, almost to the point of breaking. Begin wrapping it around the connector with each lap of tape overlapping the previous layer by half the width of the tape. We call this method of wrapping half-lapping. Wrap from the edge of the connector past the beginning of the cable jacket on one side. Hold the tape tightly and pass it from one hand to the other while pulling just enough that you feel the tape stretching. This will help you provide a consistently tight wrap. Then start wrapping back the other direction. Besides good electrical insulation, these layers of rubber tape will provide excellent moisture resistance. When applied correctly, the tape layers fuse together. If the tape breaks at any point, start at a point about a quarter of an inch before the spot where the tape broke and continue wrapping past the point of break. Keep wrapping from an inch over the cable jacket on one end to the same position on the other until you have four layers of rubber tape. Once you have finished wrapping the final layer of rubber tape, place one finger on the tape and pull quickly with the other hand. The rubber tape should snap off cleanly at your finger. For re-insulating a connection, the rule of thumb is that you should build up the tape insulation to one and one-half times the existing cable insulation. Next, start overwrapping with Scotch Brand Premium Vinyl Tape Super 33 Plus. The vinyl tape will not only add to the electrical insulation, but also provide mechanical and abrasion protection for the rubber tape. Wrap the vinyl tape as you did the rubber tape, half lapping it with moderate tension just past the edge of the rubber tape on the cable jacket, at least an inch onto the cable jacket. Wrap a minimum of two layers of the vinyl tape in this way. At the end of the last layer, let the tension out of the tape and cut it with a sharp blade. Thumb down.